Hello, and welcome to How To Do Stuff Good. Hey! What's up, Yaz? Whoa, you look so relaxed. Yeah, very chill, Yaz. Why, thank you. And is that lavender essential oils? Yes, dude, it's our Stress Busters episode. Oh, let's see what's coming up. Spin your way to less stress with these CD spinners. I'm about to de-stress with my delicious layered smoothie. Sometimes when you're under pressure, just blow. I've got a recipe that will release you from hunger and stress. Ooh, yeah, I can feel the stress melting away already. See, that'll be the lavender, dude. Let's get into the hacks. Vinny's up first. start feeling a little stressed out. There's nothing I like doing more than getting out and taking a stroll in a garden. But what if I told you you could do that without even leaving your house? What you need to make my Zen garden is a large bowl or pot tray, some sand and pebbles, and some ornaments. Oh, and a fork. So the idea behind a Zen garden is to rake and create patterns in the sand. It can be super calming. Will it work? Let's find out. First, what you need to do is get your tray and pour your sand into it. I'm already feeling super calm. After you finish pouring your sand in, start spreading it around with your hands. And if it spills, doesn't matter, because you're calm. So now you can start arranging your pebbles or little bits of wood. I like using wood to signify nature. Just do it in whatever pattern you want. Make sure you leave a little bit of room for your rake to make amazing patterns. Now, you can get your fork. So you just rake your fork back and forth, creating as many patterns as you want. You can go straight or zigzag. I can feel myself getting calm already. get a bit out of hand, just take a minute and rake some sand. Um, what stresses me out is definitely school, like my homework and everything. Assignments due the next day that I haven't done. Whoops. I have a maths test on Monday and it's algebra. Algebra is all like A times be all just random letters. It stresses me out. Some things that stress me out are ordering food because I am such an overthinker. There are so many things on the menu that are so yummy and I just really can't make a decision. What do I choose? Ugh. I get stressed out by like homework or like when my brother's annoying me. Something that stresses me out is when my brother and sister don't really take me seriously. They don't listen. <laughs> The beach at night time. Like, you never know, there could be squids and octopuses. Scary. But I love the beach in daytime. Quick hack time! What can be more stress relieving than blowing bubbles? How about these bubbles? You will need a sock that smells nice, a bottle that's cut open in the back here. Get an adult to help with this. Some food colouring, rubber bands, and your bubble mixture. Plus, some handy dandy gloves. Firstly, grab the sock and somehow get over the bottle. <laughs> and I have some help. <laughs> help. I got it. Ow. Next, just secure this with some rubber bands. That worked. It's time, let's get messy. I'm kind of choosing like the colors of the rainbow. Now that looks pretty perfect. Let's dunk it in the bubble mixture. Oh my gosh. And now let's blow. Whoa, I was actually not expecting that. I would call this unicorn poo. <laughs> this is so pretty. Stress relieving unicorn bubbles. Hey friends, whenever I feel stress, I hit the kitchen. And today, I got a recipe that looks 
nearly as good as it tastes. My laid smoothie. Here's what you're gonna need. Frozen fruits, I'm using mango and kiwi, natural yogurt, almond milk, honey, coconut water, baby spinach, and mint garnish. Minty. Oh, and of course, clean hands. Today, we're actually making two different smoothies. Let's start with the mango one. First, we're gonna need our frozen mangoes. Just pop them into there. Next, we're gonna get our natural yogurt. Make sure you get every little bit. We're gonna add our almond milk. And last but not least, our honey. Might take a while. This is okay, it's helping us chill, you know? Just patience. Finally. You only need a little drizzle, so that should be enough. Let's put our other smoothie. Let's start with our kiwi. Next, let's use our coconut water. Now, we're only gonna use a little bit of baby spinach. I know, baby spinach in a smoothie sounds strange, but trust me on this one, fam. It tastes really good. And we're only gonna use a little bit of mint. So relaxing. Time to double blend. So relaxing! Okay, I think that's enough blending. Let's push these away and let's get layering. Make sure when you're layering, you're really careful so the colors don't mix. I think it might be three layers. Our last scoop. Now, let's top it all off with a little bit of yogurt. Our straw and our fancy garnish. And there you have it, your layered smoothie. I'm so relaxed. Thank you, smoothie. I'm gonna make some more of these and take them to the den. Okay, so you're ready to taste my smoothie? Yes. yes. And your smoothie. Ooh, that looks so good. Well, time to try it. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Straws are ready. All right. Hmm. All right. No lumps. I like it. I like the kiwi flavour. I love the mango. Should we rate it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drum roll. Yay! Yay! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, the million dollar question. Do you think this is a stress busting smoothie? Totally. 100%. Glad to hear. All right, let's get back to the hacks. What's the biggest thing you can think of? How about the solar system? Pretty big, right? Not anymore. Let's make it tiny and fluffy. Here's what you'll need. Lots of wool, as much as you can find, two rings of cardboard, scissors, and time. Heaps of time. First thing you wanna do is choose your colored wool. I'm doing Planet Earth, so I've got blue and green for water and land. Grab your two rings and put them together and grab the first color you want and just start wrapping it around. Stick it through the hole in the middle and pull it through and just keep doing that all the way around until you swap colors. See, I told you this will take a while. This is the perfect thing to do while you're watching TV, watching a movie or just talking to your mates on a video call or anything. So I'm nearly at the end of the green, so now I'm going to grab my blue and tie it around here, I'll just do a double knot and keep going. There's nothing hard about this hack, it's just a matter of time. After a long time, you'll end up with something like this. So now all that's left to do is cut into it. So grab your scissors and chop down the middle. If your scissors aren't that sharp, just snip one piece at a time. Soon you'll be able to see your two pieces of cardboard. So once you see that, just keep cutting around. There it is. Now all you have to do is keep cutting around the disc. It's already looking so cool. It looks like a pom-pom already. I love it. Just a few more cuts to go and done. Now we're going to use some cotton to tie it all together. So put the piece of cotton in between and make a really tight knot. Make sure you get the knot all the way into the middle and tie it up really tightly. And I'm gonna do another knot for safety. And just trim off the excess. 
And now all that's left to do is pull off these cardboard discs. There's one. There it is. Now you can just trim off any excess pieces. I love this tiny little earth. It's so cute. I reckon you need some friends. Time to make the rest of the solar system. This is going to take a lot of wool. And finally, they are done. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and the Sun. And we can't forget the Earth. I reckon this will be perfect in your bedroom. Your room will be out of this world. Bye! I'm back with a super quick, stress-free hack. Here's what you'll need. Blue black, balloons, scissors, and a water bottle. To make this super satisfying to squish, we're filling our stress balls with oobler. You know oobler. We've made it before. It's just corn flour and water. Okay, let's put the oobler into the water bottle. That looks pretty cool. Now that that's all poured into the water bottle, we're gonna get our balloon and wrap it over the top. We're gonna turn it upside down and let the oobler drip into the balloon. Oh, it's filling up. Okay, I'm gonna pinch the balloon and then I'm gonna take off the end. I'm gonna tie the end of the balloon. There we go. Yes, that's my stress ball done. Now to make it look extra cool. I'm gonna cut the top of this balloon off and then I'm gonna cut small little holes into the balloon. Okay, I'm gonna put this around the balloon. All right, there we go. Success. Here is my super squishy relaxing, stress-free stress ball. Ah, stress relief with every squeeze. People have all sorts of ways to relieve stress. Some people run, some people scream, ah! and some people smash things. So if you get to smash something, why not smash something delicious? So you'll need some potatoes, salt, pepper, oil, butter, rosemary, smasher, and clean hands. Get an adult to boil your spuds for about 20 minutes until you can poke them with a fork. Perfecto. Pop your spuds on a baking tray. Now here's where the stress relief comes in. Grab your smasher and smash those spuds. I'm feeling less stressed already. Here's where it gets delicious. Pour over some butter, a little bit of oil, some salt, and some pepper. Add some rosemary, and you're good as gold. Now ask an adult to bake these until they're nice and golden brown and crispy. The stress is gone, it's time to smash these smashed potatoes. That is so good. I reckon I can eat all of these. <laughs> so relaxed. I bust my stress by, um, like, bashing it out on the drums or, like, running around in the paddock. I jump up and down, you know, with my... I yeah, pretend I'm an octopus, you know, just really loosening up. Usually I shut my door and open my window so the breeze can come in and you can hear, like, the birds chirping. It just makes it feel calming, I guess. Ah, oh, chirping birds. Sometimes when I'm stressed out to kind of just help me relax, I just go for a skate on my skateboard, like, on my street, just cruise. It's really relaxing. Drawing and sketching makes me go from... Ah! to... Something I do to bust my stress is I yell into a pillow. CDs. Your parents used to love them. Ask them about the first CD they ever bought and they'll go on for hours and hours saying how cool they used to be and how music was just different back then. Yawn. 
I've got a way to put these old things to good use and calm your mind at the same time. Here's what you'll need. Markers, CDs, tack, marbles and old bottle cap lids. First things first, you need to decorate. I'm using permanent markers. I'm going to do a spiral pattern so then when you spin them it'll look super trippy and really cool. You can listen to music to kill some time while you're decorating, but listen to it off your phone. Like, this is 2021. OK, I'm really happy with my design. Now I'm going to add some tack through the middle. Squish the tack through, and then you can add a marble. Last step, squish on a cap onto the other side and use that as your handle. Let's test it out and give it a spin. Whoa, the spiral pattern looks so cool. Look how mesmerising it is. It's so calming. Whoa, this is so satisfying. Whoa. <laughs> Next time your parents are boring you with how cool they used to be, just watch these and you can spin yourself to a whole nother world. So this is called a pendulum, kind of like what you've seen on an old clock. So why are they important? Well, they help keep regular time. Because no matter how big their swing is, they still keep the same rhythm. Watch. Little swing. And big swing. See? Still the same speed. Because it's not actually how big the ball on the end of the string is, or how high you swing it. A pendulum's pattern is based on how long the string is. So, you want something that's beautiful and calming. Let's get a bunch of pendulums with slightly different string lengths. As you can see, I'm using oranges. Look at that! Beautiful pendulum waves. So calming. Let's supersize this and head to the deck. Here it is, my supersized pendulum wave. Whoa! This is amazing, Yaz. <laughs> but does it work? Only one way to find out. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, release. Whoa! Whoa! Yes. That's, That's so cool. That's so good. This is so good. I can't even remember what stress feels like. <laughs> So much zen, so little time. Anyways, see you next time on How, How to Do Stuff, stuff Good. Bye! Bye. <laughs> For more information on how to do stuff good, search up ABC Me.